Hi, in this video we are going to continue our one-page web application. This is a list of suggestions how you should use this video. The notes for this video can be found on this web page. The URL link is case sensitive. And this web page is already loaded here. Okay. Alright, let's see where we stopped. Um, we created a folder in C10, myasp.net. EG001 is where we stopped last time. Okay. And let me first show you what we really want to do. What we really want to do is create a web application that looks um, something like this. But before we run that, we need to launch our Internet Information Server. So you launch your um, IIS Manager, start your IIS and go to our default website make sure it's running obviously it's running and um, so you can launch your uh, virtual directory from here okay and we have a copy of the example is already here copy of the example here so you say if this is yearly interest rate number of years is two, you can calculate the future debt, so on and so forth. Okay. And um, in the last video, we also have created we also have created a, di uh, a folder here, eg001. Obviously, it has not been done yet, so we are going to move on from here. Okay. So we are going to use Visual Studio. 2013. So let's launch Visual Studio 2013. And if you see this page, you can go to File, Open Website, and you can choose File System. Okay, choose File System, and you can navigate to the the folder, which is in C drive. Tem. My SPNet EG001, okay, and you can open it. Let me open it first. So the file is here, okay. If you want to close it, you can do a file close solution. Do you want to save changes? You can say yes. You save it in the um, the place that you want okay so you can actually save into your C10 you can save it into the same place all right okay another thing is if you open the web project website again and you go into your C drive, TAM, example 001. You can actually choose which IS to run. Okay. As you see here, Visual Studio comes with a IS Express server. And we also installed IIS server on the Windows 8. So actually, we have two servers running at the same time. OK. Um, you can actually choose it here. But if you want to choose from here, you have to run um, Visual Studio from an administrator account. So let's try to show that. So if you run the Visual Studio, if you right click here and right click on Visual Studio Express, you can actually choose to run as administrator. If that is the case, you can actually do a file, open website, and you can choose from file system or from local IS, and you can choose 
the website from here and then the um, Visual Studio will run IIS for you so you can you, you can actually have a choice here okay but for our example what we are going to do is we are going to first develop in IIS Express which is part of the Visual Studio and we are going to test in IIS Express and we are also going to move files or we are also going to test in IIS Server after the completion so we are actually going to test it here and then we are going to test it here just make sure that things work well okay so in other words I do not have to choose it from here it's a little bit confusing I'm just going to close this and I'm going to use the default setting of Visual Studio so just launch Visual Studio that will be fine okay so in this video we talk about the two servers the differences and um, how we are going to do this project okay Th um, in the next video we are going to continue from here thanks for watching